Well, the Deutsche Börse is in advanced talks to buy NYSE Euronext, creating the world's biggest exchange operator. We're joined now this morning by the former chairman of the SEC, current Bloomberg board member, and also the senior advisor to the Carlyle Group and friend of the show, Arthur. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Betty. So what do you think? Do you think this is going to pass regulators or what? I do. I think it's uh, tough to merge stock exchanges. I tried for nearly 10 years to merge the Amex in New York, but today you've got to do it. Uh, this is a transformational move. It's absolutely uh, critical that this happen. I think the notion that uh, regulators on both sides of the Atlantic will impede it is simply not so. This must mm -hmm. happen because before this, Chicago had a lock on the futures business. Right. And uh, now uh, Germany will control, the German Bourse will control 60% of this entity. Uh, U.S. regulators and politicians will say, how can we do this? Mm -hmm. And my answer to that is, how can't we do it? We are in a Otherwise globalized face... electronic market. Right. This means regulation has to be coordinated. It means accounting rules have to, have to be coordinated. This is important. You've got over in the Pacific, you've got the Singapore exchange mm -hmm. and the Australian exchange now talking about creating their own merger, which would be of enormous impact over in Asia. Is this going to be more beneficial, though, for the Europeans or for us? I think for both of us. We can no longer talk about beggaring your neighbor. We've got to be part of the process. Right. And we are no longer the world's solitary custodian of economic power. So much of it is electronic. So much of it is done between nations that to say that is like preserving the buggy whip. It's a new <laughs> world and a new era. Aren't this there, must happen. Someone said to me the other day that the NYSE and the NASDAQ missed an opportunity years ago to merge. Otherwise, th that merge exchange would have been the stalwart of capitalism. Did Absolutely. we miss an opportunity there? Without a question. And both Dick Grasso and Frank Zarb, who were heads of those en entities, wanted it to happen. but. Then you got into how much is a seat worth and what are the floor members going to say. These were membership organizations. They were old. They were weary. Today, these are publicly owned profit-making companies. Right. They think differently. They act differently. They've got to be much more facile and adaptable to change. But let's take the other side, though, Arthur. If you were still at the SEC, though, what would be your most critical question for this merger? My most critical question would be, how can we get convergence of regulation and convergence of accounting standards? Right now, the United States has better accounting standards and, up until Dodd-Frank, better regulation. Now we've got to be talking about globalized regulation, and mm -hmm. I think that's long overdue. So it's a matter of how to get the Euro how to get overseas, essentially, in line with the accounting standards here in the U.S. Absolutely, that, okay. a U.S. investor buying a security on the New York Stock Exchange now has to think about what does this mean globally. Arthur, good to see you.